ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದು ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಭನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂಗ್ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಗ್ ಹೇತಿ ಗಿರ ಜತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸುದೇ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೇವ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಹರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಾಲ್ಭವಾತ್ಯಕೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಮೇತು ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರವಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರವಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜವು ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿಪರೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ಬರಾನ ಸುಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವಧನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಸಂಬಿ ಶೃಂಗಮಹಂಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
अथा पिते अथा पिते देव पदम भुज तयो प्रसाद लेश अनुगृहित ही जानाति तत्यम भगवन महिम्नो न च अन्न एको पीचिरम विचिन्वन अथा पिते देव पदम भुज तयो प्रसाद लेश अनुगृहित ही जानाति तत्यम भगवन महिम्नो न च अन्यो एको योपी चिरम विचिन्वन गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौड़िया गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट ऑल दोज वॉन्टेड जी वॉज देर इज नो अदर पैथवे फॉर देम ऑल द टाइम हर नाम संकीर्तन टू डू हरी नाम संकीर्तन ऑल द टाइम दैट इज द ओनली पाथवे दैट इज द ओनली ड्यूटी ऑफ ऑल द बॉन्डेड जी वॉज गौड़िया गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट ऑल द टाइम दैट कृष्ण संकीर्तन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ वी आर लिविंग दैट देर इज नो अदर पाथवे ओपन नो अदर ड्यूटी ऑफ ऑल द बॉन्डेड जीवस भगवान श्री कृष्ण स्वरूप भगवान श्री कृष्ण हिज स्वरूप भगवान श्री कृष्ण नाम स्वरूप एंड एंड एक्चुअल स्वरूप दैंड द जीवाज ऑफ एंड जीवाज हैविंग देर एक्चुअल स्वरूप जस्ट बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग देयर ओन आइडेंटिटी जस्ट बाई हैविंग दिस ऑल द थ्री तत्व भगवान श्री कृष्ण स्वरूप भगवान श्री नाम स्वरूप नाम स्वरूप एंड हिज ओन स्वरूप इन जस्ट ऑर्डर टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट आफ्टर दैट that he can get into shri krishna kirtan that shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu already have told this to us the all the three swarup when we just identify that at least he need to identify shri krishna swarup shri nam swarup and his own eternal swarup just by identifying that he can do shri krishna sankirtan that is the topmost thing that is the actual duty of all the jivas that shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu has just given this kind of instruction to us this is actually this instruction is given by shri krishna jadana mahaprabhu that shri naam sankirtan how we have to do that that is actual instruction of shri naam sankirtan what do you mean by that prabhupad has already told this point that at that point slightly at that time slightly this kind of material body and our material mind this is in the bonded condition at that point this kind of material condition of the bo- mind and body it is there at that point of time that krishna sankirtan it is not at all possible means that shri krishna sankirtan in order to do that it is not at all possible it means that shri krishna sankirtan this it is not at all for the satisfaction of bhagwan that shri krishna sankirtan for the satisfaction of bhagwan it is not possible at for that time under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav by their kripa by the grip of pure guru vaishnav that sambandh gyan is getting manifested inside our heart and after getting manifestation of the sambandh gyan inside our heart all the things we can just uh, realize slowly steadily and whatever uh, when that sambandh gyan will get manifested according to that percentage how much percentage of sambandh gyan has gets uh, manifested according to that our mind body and the uh, remembrance power will definitely slowly steadily will just get removed materially that shri naam prabhu that inside the heart of the jivas ultimately will get manifested inside the heart of the jivas slowly steadily by doing so the by doing bhajan slowly steadily this already i have told yesterday also that bhajan kriya slowly steadily by doing that by naam bhajan slowly steadily this uh, by this doing bhajan kriya after that what will happen after anarth nivritti will come that when the you anarth will get removed then actual bhajan you can start that sadhan bhakti you can start so inside the heart of the jiva this sadhan bhakti that shri naam prabhu will get manifest inside his heart and will remove all the anarth kind of anarth from his heart at that point 
at that point inside the heart we can just realize we can realize that point inside our heart that this kirtan this kind of kirtan actually it's coming there at that point uh, up till that point bonded ji was need to make sure about this point and uh, this kind of bhakti it is not at all possible up, up till that point of time why because rup ko swami pad ji ka this uh, shloka this actually this shloka is there this kind of seva vr- that of uh, seva vritti how to get that seva all the sense organ how we just no need involve in all the kind of serving attitude towards krishna that is very impossible to get but still it is possible why because under the guidance of guru varga it is the kripa of all the guru vaishnav we can attain that stage and in the shastras also it is written that bhakti what is the actual definition of bhakti we what we have the definition actual definition of bhakti this that is uttama bhakti and in naraj panchratra also it is written we already have told this point sarvapadi means any kind of uh, uh, title or any kind of any kind of uh, greediness any kind of uh, contamination material contamination they are inside rishi gain by your own material sense organs all by sense organs you just need to serve that rishi gesh when that top uh, when he is getting the release from all kind of titles all kind of greediness material contamination is all gone it's all removed at that position at that situation there is actually no reason that a hetu ki bhakti is inside his heart that and at that point inside his heart from that inside his heart one kind of uh, realization coming inside his heart and that is called nirmal realization he is getting he is getting full of anand and is getting that anand and is just making all his efforts to realize that particular tatva at that point that's bhagwan bhagwat bhagwan swarup shakti is getting inside our heart and we can just realize what kind of material sense organs which we have previously now these material sense organs by the actual effect of swarup shakti it has become so much uh, powerful that all those sense organs are actually are getting uh, uh, busy in the satisfaction of uh, the sense organs of rishikesh by your own sense organs you are becoming busy in the serving attitude of krishna by the effect of swarup shakti and externally that and externally all your material sense organs are by the effect of the swarup shakti has now become on the transcendental level and actually running towards the service i uh, will become busy for the total satisfaction of bhagwan so that is the effect of swarup shakti when swarup shakti effect is there on our material sense organs it is such a kind of magic that all of our material sense organs will now will come on the transcendental level and will be just busy to do uh, krishna seva at that time prabhupad actually speaking that this kind of seva this seva seva actually everywhere we are using that horse seva damb seva as seva daridra narayan seva everywhere they are using this seva word but seva word actually prabhupad actually speaking that only it is used for bhagavat tatva apart from that bhagwan this seva word cannot be used anywhere else bhagwan means that bhagwan naam bhagwan dham bhagwan sevak bhagwan leela parikar devotees paraphernalia everything that bhagwan sevak means that definitely you will use the word seva sadhu seva but horse seva ash seva ha uh, uh, bird seva beast seva human seva daridra seva this is not at all applicable this is not at all perfect but still persons are actually using this seva like monkeys they are speaking so prabhupad actually speaking that seva this word this is adhoksha vastu it can be used for that 
इट कैन बी यूज फॉर दैस अगदोक्ष वस्तु दैट सेवा ऑफ भगवान दिस एक्चुअली इट इज फॉर इट इज नॉट द वर्क ऑफ अर मटीरियल माइंड एंड बॉडी इट इज एक्चुअल धर्म ऑफ आत्मा सेवा इज एक्चुअल धर्म ऑफ आत्मा एंड दिस वर्ड सेवा इन दिस देर इज नो काइंड ऑफ टेंडेंसी ऑफ बिजनेस इन दैट नो स्मेल ऑफ बिजनेस इज देयर इन सेवा वर्ड सेवा वर्ड दिस एक्चुअली वेयर इट इज यूज दिस वर्ड सेवा दिस इज ओनली यूज फॉर द सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ भगवान नाम परिकर वैशिष्ट पैराफर्नलिया साधु एवरीथिंग दिस वर्ड सेवा इज यूज बट दिस एक्चुअली सेवा दिस वर्ड सेवा वैन वी आर यूजिंग दिस इन द मार्केट दे आर एक्चुअली दे कैन नॉट विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट एक्चुअल पॉइंट बिहाइंड दैट वर्ड सेवा सेवा इज द एक्चुअल धर्म ऑफ आत्मा एंड इन सेवा दैट बनिया वृत्ति दैट काइंड ऑफ बिजनेस मूड विल नॉट बी एप्लीकेबल दैट मेंटेलिटी ऑफ द बिजनेस मैट दैट डर्टी मेंटेलिटी इन साइड हिज माइंड दैट काइंड ऑफ सेवा दिस काइंड ऑफ बिजनेस टेंडेंसी विल नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल इट विल नॉट स्टे देयर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू एक्चुअल सेवा दैट भगवान श्री कृष्ण इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट सेटिस्फाई भगवान श्री कृष्ण जस्ट फॉर इज सेटिस्फैक्शन दैट कृष्ण सेवा दैट जस्ट फॉर हिज सेटिस्फैक्शन जस्ट टू सेटिस्फाई भगवान कृष्ण एंड टू सेटिस्फाई द सेंसिस ऑफ श्री कृष्ण दैट इज आवर सेंस ऑर्गन्स मीन्स वैन वी आर वी विल डेफिनेटली गो टू हेल्प इफ वी आर सेटिस्फाइंग आवर सेंसेज एंड इफ वी आर विच आर सेटिस्फाइंग द प्राकृत कामदेव वैन वी विल सेटिस्फाइंग हिज अ प्राकृत सेंस ऑर्गन्स दैट दैट सेवा दैट काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट टूवर्ड्स द सेवा टूवर्ड्स दैट अ प्राकृत नंद नंदन दैट इज एक्चुअली विल ओपन द गेट फॉर आर एक्चुअल आत्मधर्म बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव एनी सेटिस्फैक्शन फॉर आर ओन सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन we are not at all actually finding any kind of happiness for our own in this kind of seva towards uh, the satisfaction of bhagwan seva kya hai what do you mean by seva isko ruka nahi it cannot be stopped you see that this avyabicharani there it is written because it cannot be stopped why because a hai to ki apratirab apratiyata that bhagwat shlok we have already heard दिस अप्रतिहता दिस वर्ड वी कैन नॉट चेक दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ ऑल द टाइम इट इज जस्ट गेटिंग आउट लाइक कपिल जी महाराज हैज जस्ट टोल्ड दैट द गंगा वॉटर इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द हिमालय एट द टॉप ऑफ द क्लिप ऑफ हिमालय स्लोली स्टेडली इट इज कमिंग डाउन एंड इज जस्ट कटिंग ऑल द बैरियर्स एंड इज जस्ट गेटिंग इन टू द ओशन एट लास्ट सो वी कैन नॉट स्टॉप दैट इट विल डेफिनेटली ब्रेक ऑल द बैरियर्स सो इन द सेम मैनर दिस अव्यभिचारणी दिस अहेतु की अप्रतिहरता दिस इज द एक्चुअल दिस इज द एक्चुअल वृत्ति ऑफ आत्मा एक्चुअली सदगुरु चरण प्योर गुरु वैष्णव लोटस स्वीट वेन वी आर टेकिंग दैट आश्रय एक्चुअल आश्रय विदाउट दैट टेकिंग द आश्रय ऑफ एक्चुअल गुरु वैष्णव लोटस स्वीट विदाउट देयर सेवा दैट अव्यभिचारणी सेवा this kind of seva without the avyabicharani seva the actual meaning of the vedanta that whatever our old shastra gaudi shastra is there that is for all the four sampradaya what is written especially that darshan shastra is there all the shastras vedant it is actually on the basis of vedant only all the four sampradaya siddhant is on the basis of vedant but that if we will not at all uh, getting the sense meaning of actual sense meaning of the vedant then what is the use and without bhagavad bhakt without uh, without uh, stop without serving their lotus feet nobody can become guru if some person is thinking that how it is possible that we have our gurudev and some ex vision by mission we have just taken diksha and he is not our guru he is not gurudev at all that kind of logical interpretation argument is this is not a point of argument not a point of it's a question of realization because guru means that actual sadguru not normal uh, guru ordinary sadhu sadguru means that actual sadhu and sadhu word this this is only applicable for only vaishnav 
but this whole material world is getting angry on this because they do cannot understand the point that sadhu word if you know sanskrit then this sadhu word actually who is actually following the sad dharma that bhagavad dharma that is called sadhu sadhu means that sad dharma who is following that sad dharma sadhu means that he is following the sad dharma that is called sadhu and sad dharma means that atma dharma atma dharma means that nitya dharma nitya dharma means that bhagavad dharma this is coming but apart from that whatever dharma you are following apart from this uh, uh sad dharma what is actually the air is moving that is actually not nitya dharma at all so this sadhu shabd what we are speaking by speaking sadguru just by closing our eyes we can just speak that yes he is actually a sadhu vaishnav so this is not a point of any argument or logical interpretation it is a question of realization this is the actual uh, uh, actual happiness and blissfulness bhagwan shri krishna has already told that uh, that whatever bhav we have inside our heart that whatever we have we are doing actually i am sir he is serving me according to that bhav i definitely want to pay him accordingly now all the bonded jeevas this kind of doubt actually coming inside their heart in their mind this kind of doubt is coming in material jeevas that uh, this madhur ras that this madhur ras this kant this with all us from all the uh, ang we are doing seva bhagwan with all our sense organs with all our material body with all our body uh and our organs we are save, serving bhagwan this is actually we cannot hide this point bhagwan shri krishna seva is possible only when then we are actually are not reserving anything for ourselves our body speech and mind everything our respect discipline everything we are actually giving it everything respect also we are getting getting at the lotus feet of bhagwan like gopikas have done gopis has have the whatever who will actually speak in this uh, whole uh, world about them so they are not at all uh, uh, remembering that maximum you can do narayan bhajan or vishnu bhajan but krishna bhajan is not at all possible it is very far distant thing very lot of thinking you need to do at what point that krishna bhajan will be done so whatever is there now now we are actually discussing this point that we were discussing about this point that about naam bhajan slowly steadily we are just getting uh, uh, elevated to something when we are getting successful in naam bhajan slowly steadily our uh, all the all the leela parikar vishishta paraphernalia everything will just get manifested inside our heart it can get manifest this i have already told yesterday prasamam namnah shavanam antah karana suddhi artham apiksha shuddhi साधन क्रम विलिखित this actually jeev goswami pad has told in the sandarbh we cannot cut that it means that that by naam bhajan slowly steadily we just need to move ahead and it can be done naam slowly steadily everything slowly steadily can get manifest inside our heart naam this is the power of naam bhakti vinod thakur has written in kirtan also this coined all kirtan are written already there this is the actual serious discussion about the kirtan so now actually the question is coming here that prabhupad ji under the guidance of prabhupad under the guidance of prabhupad we are actually making this kind of vichar we we are actually under the guidance of prabhupad this kind of vichar we will be making that what prabhupad actually speaking that at the bank of radha kund prabhupad at the bank of radha kund this kind of vichar he is speaking we will definitely going to speak about this point because otherwise that which are will become uh, 
uh, will not be open to all. So, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, that in Vrindavan, uh, during the time of Vrindavan Parikrama, at that time, at the time of Vrindavan Parikrama, what kind of during the at the bank of Radha Kund, he was just uh, uh, sitting, he was actually speaking about the Shira Rupa 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 Goswami Padupadesh Amrit. He was just discussing about under the guidance of uh, Rupa Gan Anugatya. He has just shown us, Prabhupada has shown us the Rupa Anugatya that I will be definitely discussing. And after that, the ninth number shlok. This aspect I will be discussing it after that. Srila Prabhupada actually speaking that Srila Rupa Prabhu, that eighth number shlok, what uh, that eight, eighth number shlok of Upadesh Amrit of Srila Rupa Goswami, that is Sri Upadesh Amrit, this is it, that is the actual conclusion of that. Rupa Swami Pad actually is just accepting this point on his own. That is the actual conclusive point of all the things. And whosoever actually what is there the in this shlok, that kind of updesh, who are actually just following this kind of updesh, definitely understood that he will get that Bhagavad Darshan. Definitely Brajendra Nandan, he will get that in Rupanuk Bhajan, he will get successful. Definitely, if he will following the 8th shlok under a guidance of Rupanukatya. Prabhupada actually speaking that just by following the sadhan kram, Prabhupada speaking that sadhan kram, this is gradual proportional procedure, just by following that, the devotees, the sadhaks, who are actually following this gradual proportional procedure, that actual sadhak, this kind of sadhano kram pantha, just by understanding this slowly steadily, he is doing Krishna Nam, Krishna Rup, Krishna Gun, Krishna Parikar, and Krishna Leela, Kirtan Smaran he is doing, etc. All the time he is doing. And uh, just by all his material mind, body and his sense organ, all he is actually engaging in all this. When he is actually become Ruchi one, full of Ruchi. I have already told you previously that Jeev Goswami Pad has told that slowly steadily by doing Shravan of Nam, our heart is getting pure and slowly steadily that uh, the actual uh, just by doing the shravan of harinam when our heart is becoming pure after that what will happen slowly steadily that uh, roop shravan we adhikar we will get of bhagwan and after that that roop nam will get manifested and uh, after that qualities and characteristics of bhagwan will get manifested slowly steadily after that that leela smaran we when we can get into that automatically it will manifest so Prabhupada actually told this point that if someone if some if sadhak or if some devotee is following that gradual proportional procedure under the guidance of pure guru Vaishnav and he is doing the krishna nam krishna roop krishna leela krishna gun and parikar and and bhagwan shri krishna leela that leela kirtan that krishna leela kirtan smaran etc what he is actually is doing he is getting that opportunity to do that he is actually making his body, speech and mind and all sense organs engaged in that and when he is becoming topmost Ruchiman in that when he is actually giving all everything in the Bhagavad Nam, Bhagavan Rup, Bhagavan Dila, Bhagavan everything he is getting, he is engaging his sense organs in that this Kirtan, Smaran etc that by his body, speech and mind is actually getting busy in all the for the satisfaction of Bhagavan he is becoming Ruchiman after that at that time, be careful, at that time, at that time what will happen, that Bhagavan Shri Krishna, that Sankirtan slowly steadily is doing Nam Sankirtan of Bhagavan and he is just getting engaged his body, speech and mind into Bhagavad Seva, then under the guidance of those Brajavasis, that he will be doing Brajavas at that time and at that time, under the guidance of Anugatya of Brajavasis, that he will be staying in the Braj all the time. He will be giving all the time. Utilize his time in Krishna Seva. 
whatever time he has in his life he will just utilize it we will be staying in brajwas brajwas under the guidance of brajwasi he will be utilizing his time for krishna seva he will be utilizing this for his krishna seva that is the actual upadesh is the topmost upadesh that is the topmost upadesh and it is the actual conclusive point of all the shlokas prabhupad speaking that we all the time have to all the time every time we have to get the anugatya vad brajavasis we just need to stay under their guidance prabhupad all the time speaking this point every time that we have to stay under the anugatya of brajavasis all the time this is this is actually water of yamuna this is cow actually it is this flute etc all actually are brajavasis that yamuna water the tree kadam tree water of yamuna cows of braj and flute everyone is brajwasi they are actually are actually shantras brajwasis shantras brajwasis those devotees of shantras they are it, it is they are, actually they cannot uh, engage themselves on their own in the seva of krishna if someone actually can engage them in seva then only it is possible to do seva for them that's why all those prajwasis under their guidance under the anugatya prajwasis we just need to stay and that krishna kaam ke liye niketan this vrindavan all the time where there is actually water of yamuna cows the water of yamuna cows are there trees are there prabhupada actually speaking they are all prajwasis and we just need these are actually shantras uh, santras brajwasis and raktak pattak etc they are actually they are uh, nitya dasaras brajwasis and prabhupa speaking that that externally just uh, that having the drama of that brajwas externally that you are staying in brajwasi you are a brajwasi and you are he is actually making drama or that he is staying in braj uh, that he is a brajwasi and internally he is actually the krishna taro means that uh, that uh, for the satisfaction of krishna he is actually not at all thinking of that and just is thinking of his own happiness and enjoyment just to take that that sensual sensual gratification he is running for and externally he is actually doing brajwas prabhupad speaking that that is called that is not at all brajwas prabhupad speaking this that is not at all brajwas this is actually one kind of drama brajwas what what do you mean by brajwas actually prabhupad speaking that what do you mean by brajwas you see what do you mean by brajwas prabhupad speaking prabhupad speaking that those who are actually apart from shri krishna who are actually leaving the service of bhagwan shri krishna chandra nandanandan bhagwan shri krishna chandra he is actually just leaving the seva of uh, bhagwan shri krishna and no, unknowingly also even even in unconscious condition also avash means in unconscious movement condition here they can't do anything apart from that who is actually brajwasi the actual meaning of brajwasi is that those who are do, that nanda nandan shri krishna bhagwan shri krishna he is doing the seva bhagwan shri krishna and why cannot leave the seva for and the satisfaction of bhagwan shri krishna and unknowingly also in unconscious state also he cannot uh, uh, leave the seva of krishna he cannot go leaving krishna seva and just for his own enjoyment he will be doing he is not at all brajwasi those who are not at all actually doing any kind of efforts for their own happiness and what kind of actions they are doing each and every fraction of second they are actually using it for the service of krishna that is actually called a brajwasi just for the seva of bhagwan that is called brajwas so sarup gosai externally 
he is there hasn't went to braj but still he is a brajwasi rai ramanand also it it hasn't written about anything rai shri rai ramanand has just went to vrindavan he is still he is brajwasi so they are all brajwasis prabodhanand saraswati pad hasn't went to his whole life to navadvip dham but still he has written shri navadvip satyakam if it is possible why because he is actually nitya eternal parshad he is there living in vrindavan all the time and they are all the time living in navadvip dham so that is called brajwasi that each and every action of him even fraction of second he is actually thinking about the satisfaction of krishna and is giving each and every effort for the satisfaction of krishna that is called aprakrit brajwasi otherwise he is externally is living in brajwas and that is not at all uh, brajwasi he is doing all lootery and thefts there so prabhupad speaking that by the body if you are doing it is not possible to do brajwas externally physically it is not possible then mentally inside your pure heart that shuddha sattva with your shuddha sattva heart inside your heart mentally you just need to uh, stay in vrindavan that kind of that is actual brajwasi internally inside his heart he is actually staying in braj uh, vrindavan that is called brajwasi prabhupa speaking that uh, our heart all the time we just need to get under the guidance of the seva of the braj dham we just need to make sure we are there all the time our material mind and heart are there all the time in the vichar dhara of braj whatever the actually uh, chintan of braj all the time we just need to get into that it means that we just need to make a connection all the time our heart even fraction of second our heart should not go away from here and there it should all the time be in connection with braj we just need to make a connection with braj dham and braj vasis all the time here prabhupad actually speaking that bhog and tyag this is not a vishay of that this is actually not a vishay of uh, leaving and taking bhog and tyag it is not uh, this is not the actually not the vichar of our material mind which is giving us just unstable uh, enjoying mood inside our heart this is not the actual vichar of our uh, uh, unstable mind that is called brajwas bhog and tyag all these two things this kind of vichar we just need to throw that that bhog and tyag all both these two things we just need to throw and kick that because both of them are no no of no use but still no nirvin no nati shakto bhakti yoga so siddhi do na to vishay mein na whether no attachment towards the material things and uh, we are not uh, getting detachment towards the material things there is no attachment and rather no detachment if this kind of bhav is there then by yukta vairagya by that bhakti yog will definitely get siddh some day propa ji speaking that uh, that uh, oh, if he has some more shakti inside him agar koi if if he is getting some ashakti in some particular object or in some particular thing and at that point he will definitely become grihasti and uh, grahavrat he will be taking and uh, if he is getting a very slight shushk vairagya also after this is also against hari bhajan too much attachment and too much detachment both are strictly prohibited for hari bhajan we have to throw away for hari bhajan non nirvinno non nirvinno nati shakto non nirvinno non nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga asho siddhi to Prabhupada actually speaking This is actually gradual pro- promotional procedure of sadhan that is kram vikas path gradual pro- promotional procedure this kind of uh, pathway this kind of pathway this kind of paddhati this pathway just by getting this that to, to get the anusaran of this under the guidance of guru vaishnav just to imitate guru vaishnav is not at all good that actual gradual promotional procedure we just need to follow that and after that slowly steadily we will get shravan dasha and in shravan dasha what is there that krishna ram krishna katha 
and uh, slowly steadily we will be hearing and we will get that absolute anand inside our heart all the time we just need to hear krishna katha and krishna naam krishna kirtan we have to do all the time just need to hear hari katha all the time and krishna naam slowly steadily by going ahead that krishna roop roop naam that roop gun roop parikar roop leela everything will get manifest in front of us slowly steadily automatically and in the shravan dasha after that guru uh, is speaking varan dasha that in order to get uh, bhagwan inside our heart just by getting shravan varan dasha automatically comes and at that time that shuta vishay whatever we have just heard from guru work that kind of kirtan is also uh, uh, possible at that time and without any nishkapat bhav slowly steadily when he is doing kirtan that smaran avastha he will getting smaran dasha and in this smaran dasha what is there this smaran this is also of five kinds the swabhavik chintan natural chintan this smaran then dharana dhyan anusmriti and samadhi yesterday uh, day or day before yesterday i have already told all there are five kinds of smaran one is unstable chintan that is called smaran dharana means that that dhay vastu in that this kind of conception is very clear and after that when continuously our heart is just getting uh, towards that one target it is just getting uh, uh, imbibed towards one thing only targeted towards one thing that is called dhyan and anusmriti means all the time spontaneously that smriti is there of that particular object that is anusmriti and after that samadhi that whatever this this all vyavadhan all he is actually all even a small contamination of maya will not stay in his heart and he will get samadhi in that it means that all the time unbreakable dhyan is there unbreakable uh, dhyan that time he is all the time thinking of that particular object all the time no breakage is there no no uh, unwanted element also coming like a barrier in front of him unbreakable it is spontaneous continuously it is coming just like uh, just uh, firing up a lamp of uh, ghee that the face of face of that lamp if we are just putting it definitely he just need to get put off in that case in that that stage the sadhak at that stage the devotee or the sadhak he will just get the actual swarup his nitya swarup at this point the sadhak will get his actual nitya swarup he will get his actual nitya swarup in this in this position after that he will that sampatti dashad he will get that vastu siddhi so bhagwan naam roop gun character se qualities it is very important to do that prabhupad speaking that bhagwan naam roop gun leela parigar charitra and his character se character sector just need to do su kirtan and ku kirtan is not at all possible don't need to do that prabhupad speaking prabhupad speaking that ku kirtan or which is natural natural sankirtan you are just uh, uh, removing J- apart from shrot pantha you are doing kirtan that is ku kirtan that uh, in anarth yukta vastha you are doing kirtan that is ku kirtan that whatever you are serving bhagwan uh, not under the guidance of bhakti vinod dhara roop gun leela parikar actually you are just uh, remembering on your own and you are not actually taking the connection of uh, shrot pantha and apart from that what you are doing kirtan that whatever you have just heard haven't heard from the mouth of the guru vishnu you are doing kirtan according to that that is called ku kirtan that is not at all uh, for the satisfaction of bhagwan that is called ku kirtan so prabhupad speaking that if someone actually is doing ku kirtan ku kirtan someone is doing or either he is doing natural kirtan it is not at all possible because here actually it is sp- spoken
तस्च सचेष्टित शुन्नत श्रद्धया नितम गृणत सचेष्टित नाति दीर्घे न काले न भगवान विशते ही अपार्ट फ्रॉम कीर्तन इन गोइंग इन स्मरण दशा दो बी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस पॉइंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम कीर्तन जस्ट नॉट बाय नॉट डूइंग कीर्तन दैट द मोड ऑफ कीर्तन विदाउट डूइंग कीर्तन स्मरण इन गोइंग टू स्मरण दोज हु आर वी आर गेटिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस वी आर गेटिंग दैट इज नॉट एक्चुअल स्मरण दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल स्मरण विदाउट कीर्तन विदाउट डूइंग कीर्तन वी आर गेटिंग दैट अनंद काइंड ऑफ अनंद और सो कॉल्ड हैप्पीनेस वी आर गेटिंग दैट इन दैट स्मरण दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल एक्चुअल स्मरण विदाउट डूइंग कीर्तन एंड यू आर डूइंग स्मरण ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल कॉल्ड एक्चुअल स्मरण दैट इज एक्चुअली यू आर जस्ट बी थिंकिंग अबाउट द इंजॉइंग मूड यू विल बी थिंकिंग अबाउट द इंजॉयबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स that without kirtan what you are taking the smaran of any object that will definitely become the point of your enjoying mood that actually krishna speaking that will definitely uh, uh, point your uh, dhyan towards that enjoying objects there are two pathway preyo and shreyo whatever we are actually liking that is preyo pantha and which we are finding very difficult to follow that is very difficult to follow that is shreyo pantha it in order to get uh, on this pathway it is very difficult to go so this uh, shreyo and preyo pantha when in his life this becomes one in the life of one uh, jiva you understand then in one jiva one life of a jiva in the uh, life of a sadhak this shreyo and preyo both become one means that that he what he is thinking of shreya it is just getting transformed into preyo shreyo and preyo when they are becoming one then definitely shreya and preyo that kind of uh, oneness of this so both things propa speaking then shreya and preyo are just getting oneness with each other at that point shreyo and preyo that is called agar togetherness of both the things then up we can just get the shri shri radha govind seva we will be just feeling that uh, attraction towards that seva more and more shreyo and preyo when it becomes oneness with each other then at that time that jugal milan of shreyo and preyo we are getting it means that shri shri radha govind seva will be our heart will be getting more attracted towards the seva of just running towards the seva of shri shri radha govind at that time at that time shreya will just transform into preyo and preyo will just get transform into shreyo so apart from krishna nam bhajan proper speaking those who are krishna nam bhajan kari that mahabhagavat those that preyo is there that definitely his preyo is shreyo and that his shreyo is preyo and bhagavat bhajan kari that sadhu those who are doing krishna bhajan that mahabhagavat paramhans vaishnav what is his shreyo that definitely his is preyo and what is his preyo that is his shreyo and jeev ko swami pad also pichar of jeev ko swami is speaking that ragatmika bhakti that the ragat the vichar of ragatmika bhakti it is only it will be there inside brajwasi ragatmika bhakti that kind of vichar is there in brajwasi only so whatever adhikari his adhikari is only brajwasi only i have already just discussed this a lot of time and under their guidance what you are actually following they are actually raganuga devotees so tadanuragi means that ragatmik brajwasis under their guidance we just need to do okay that kadamba tree yamuna pulin these are actually shantras devotees we have already told about the vichar of the shastra that the shantras go gau mata they are actually or muni and rishis they are actually under the guidance of shantras they are doing bhajan rattak patrak chittak they are actually or dasya ras bakul 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 they are actually under the guidance of nand maharaj in the uh, actually serving nand maharaj house they are servant of nand maharaj they are actually uh, doing service at the house of nand maharaj and krishna उत्तर घोष्ट 
दैट वैन इज कमिंग आफ्टर द घोष्ट लीला भगवान दे आर सर्विंग भगवान विद द हेल्पिंग हिम विद द बाथ एंड ही इज गिविंग ऑल द चेंजिंग हिज क्लोथ्स एवरी थिंग इज दिस इज कॉल्ड रत्तक पत्रक चित्रक दे आर डूइंग दैट दिस इज द एक्चुअल सर्विस ऑफ दैम नित्य नित्य सर्विस दैट दे आर एक्चुअली द सर्वेंट ऑफ नंद महाराज एंड दे आर ऑल द टाइम दे आर इन द सर्विस ऑफ भगवान श्री कृष्ण एंड दैट उत्तर घोष्ट इट मीन्स दैट वैन आफ्टर वैन भगवान एक्चुअली कमिंग आफ्टर द काउज आर कमिंग बैक आफ्टर द घोष्ट वी इज कमिंग टू द हाउस दे आर एक्चुअली सर्विंग भगवान जस्ट बाई गिविंग हिम बाथ एंड ऑल द काइंड ऑफ क्लोथ्स ही इज चेंजिंग दैम ऑफ भगवान दे आर एक्चुअली ऑल द टाइम सर्विंग भगवान लाइक दिस इन द हाउस ऑफ नंद महाराज रत्रक पत्रक एक्सेट्रा दे आर एक्चुअली सर्वेंट्स इन द हाउस ऑफ नंद महाराज दे आर एक्चुअली सर्विंग इन द कोट यार्ड ऑफ नंद महाराज दे आर एक्चुअली दासेरस हैविंग दासेरस इन साइड दैम सो दिस दासेरस एक्चुअली दे आर इन साइड दैम दे आर एक्चुअली तदनु रागे ऑफ दासेरस दिस बाई स्पीकिंग दिस दिस तदनु रागे इज दिस If someone actually want to just take the shelter of uh, Ratrak Patrak under their guidance, they can go. So, what what kind of seva they are doing all the time of Krishna? At what time they are serving Krishna? So, all actually after this, this kind of information we just need to take that. So, these people, these actually, they are actually under Dasyaras category. They are under the category of Dasyaras. दिस श्लोक वॉट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड एंड श्रीधाम सुधाम व सुधाम ऑल दीज आर एक्चुअली दे आर डिवोटीज ऑफ कृष्णा दे आर एक्चुअली फ्रेंड्स ऑफ कृष्णा दे आर एक्चुअली विश्वम्बेन सेवा दिस वात्सल दैट विद विश्वम्ब भाव दैट सख्य रस दे आर एक्चुअली टेस्टिंग दैट दे आर डू सर्विंग कृष्णा इन सख्य रस एंड अंडर दे आर अनुगत्य under their guidance whatever those people are there they are actually tadanuragi so shridam sudam vasudam arjun all actually uh, means praj arjun i am speaking not about puri arjun i am talking about praj arjun so this actually shridam sudam etc all these are actually vishwam they are actually or under the guidance of sakya ras they are serving krishna and that puri arjun that is vishwambar ras that vishwambar ras that that sakhya ras he is not at all uh, eligible to uh, they have that sakhya ras that arjun what is there of the out of that panch pandav that's arjun he is actually adhikari of sakhya ras okay but that vishwambar bhaj is not there he has a little bit of uh, actually effect of krishna that he is bhagwan that but this kind of idea is uh, all the time is having inside his heart that's why the they don't have that vishwam bhav of sakhiras in sa, for krishna their vichar is actually totally different so shridham sudham subal they are actually vishwam bhav sakhiras they are actually uh, that vishwam bhav sakhiras they are having and that puri arjun what is there in arjun that puri that arjun is there that is actually is different that is having that gyan mishra vichar he has that is not this kind of braj ras will not at all come in that uh, puri arjun and braj bhav will not at all come inside him and uh, he it is not actually shuddh shuddh sakhya this is sakhya is there he has friendship with bhagwan but that is not at all actually pure uh, pure friendship maybe it is one kind of avi some avi is there some kind of uh, uh, shraddha and he is actually bhagwan this kind of bhav is coming inside him but the brajwasi that you are who you are actually this kind of bhav is you are not a big person this kind of bhav actually coming inside uh, the heart of the brajwasi is this kind of bhav that is called actual braj bhav and uh, what is the kind of arjun what kind of bhav arjun has prasid prasid jagannath ho prabhu you are jagannath you just stop this kind of darshan to me i don't want to see this i am actually finding it very difficult to see this kind of darshan of yours this actually vishwarup so actually there is uh, both the things there is difference there is difference in between both the darshans you can see so shridam shrudam etc they are having vishwam basakharas friendship bhav towards uh, bhagwan that pure friendship bhav and shridam sudam who actually want to do the anugatya 
दैट तद अनुरागी जगान जनानुगामी दिस इज द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ दैट श्रीधाम एंड सुधाम एटसेट्रा ऑल एक्चुअली बाय विश्वम बसखरस दे आर एक्चुअली सर्विंग भगवान श्री कृष्ण विद अ प्योर फ्रेंडशिप मूड एंड दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट गेटिंग ऑन टू द हेड ऑफ श्री कृष्ण दे कैन जस्ट क्लाइंब ऑन द हेड ऑफ कृष्ण दिस इज ओनली पॉसिबल इन द विश्वम्बर सखरस एंड दे कैन जस्ट फाइट विद कृष्ण ऑल्सो विद दिस फ्रेंडशिप लाइक वी हैव फ्रेंडशिप विद आवर फ्रेंड्स दैट वी कैन जस्ट फाइट विद दैम एज वेल सो इन द सेम मैनर दे कैन जस्ट टू विद कृष्ण एज वेल एंड कृष्ण आर ऑल्सो विद हिज ओन फ्रेंड्स दे कैन जस्ट कृष्ण भगवान श्री कृष्ण ऑल दोज फ्रेंड्स ऑफ कृष्ण भगवान ऑल द फ्रेंड्स ऑफ कृष्ण दे कैन जस्ट क्लाइंब ऑन द शोल्डर ऑफ कृष्ण एंड दे आर जस्ट प्लेइंग विद कृष्ण ऑल द टाइम सो दे डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ ऐश्वर्य भाव आई हैव वन फ्रेंड दिस विश्वम्भ दिस काइंड ऑफ सख्य रस that he has no kind of ashwarya bhav inside him he has no actual realization of that ashwarya bhav but arjun that after just getting the uh, darshan of virat roop he was just surprised to see that virat roop but arjun actually just by watching the virat swarup of krishna in geeta it is written that arjun just by t- uh, watching the virat roop of swarup of bhagwan just by watching the virat swarup of uh, bhagwan he was just become uh, astonished and uh, surprised after seeing that uh, hari is actually infinity this kind of darshan when he is taken he was just very su- up- surprised and amazed to see that oh what is this actually and just by seeing the virat roop he was just getting all where that friendship bhav has gone he no no kind of friendship bhav was there at that he was just getting surprised and amazed to see that virat swarup and he is speaking that you are actually have that infinity web of shali i have just up, done a prayer on your lotus feet knowingly and unknowingly and you just please forgive me for that and you just forgive my prayer that's it he was asking to krishna on to the lotus feet of krishna so like this that ashwarya uh, opulence is bhav of bhagwan krishna he has just taken darshan and he is just uh, becoming so much afraid and fearful by watching that so this kind of seva actually what he is doing this yananda yashoda etc all this under the guidance of the vatsalya ras that they are having vatsalya ras if you actually want to just serve in yashoda ma and nand baba under the their guidance they have that kind of seva bhav and under their guidance they want to do seva and we also want to do that seva they can actually just uh, get seva in vatsalya ras under their guidance so and if they will also get into that situation otherwise it is not possible to go it is not possible to do this kind of ras sankirtan if he is going to that condition that is okay so madhavendra puri ba the disciple is ragupati upadhyay the disciple of madhavendra puri ba is in alahabad is ragupati upadhyay at triveni sangam at alahabad in alahabad at triveni sangam at the bank of triveni sangam that vallabhacharya his one village is there uh, that village of vallabhacharya is uh, at that village only ragupati upadhyay has just uh, went to meet mahaprabhu and ragupati upadhyay he is just uh, met with mahaprabhu there with there ragupati upadhyay has just uh, told a very nice shlok because uh, what is the actual siddhant vichar of sadhan bhajan that kind of vinimay was actually going on with mahaprabhu between mahaprabhu and ragupati upadhyay so that gram is called arail gram where actually this meeting has happened between ragupati upadhyay and chaitanya mahaprabhu where actually vallabhachari used to stay ye jo hai this actually ragupati upadhyay ji has actually has just told actually prabhupad speaking all this what i am actually speaking to you is all actually prabhupad which are it is what i am speaking at alahabad at the bank of triveni sangha vallabhacharya at the house of vallabhacharya at vallabhat at the house of his he is vallabhat before not vallabhacharya he is become vallabhacharya afterwards so at the house of vallabhat he is actually speaking in the house of vallabhat when mahaprabhu just went there and uh, when that he met with ragunath uh, ragupati upadhyay one devotee just met with uh, who is actually a disciple of madhavendra puri pad he just met with uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu and he is actually speaking very nice siddhant vichar apare shrutim apare shrutim itare bharatam anne bhajantu bhavakritah kisi ka ichha 
that if someone actually wants actually want to do the part of suti and they are sometime worshiping that smriti and they are actually discussing smriti and i don't have any kind of uh, 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 doubt in it but i only know, know only one thing that uh, that vrindavan chandra krishna chandra in order to catch him that j- i just need to catch the lotus feet of nand baba so and in mahabharat also if some actually some kind of uh, fearful fearful mood is actually coming then what he will do then he will be just discussing mahabharat that is jay granth this material world in order to get just a fearful thing someone actually just worshiping shruti and someone actually be just discussing mahabharat okay they can do that but that me only i will actually ragupati upadhyay actually speaking that i will only that i will only worship i will only worship the lotus feet of nand maharaj i am actually just running towards that why because it is definitely be sure about that that definitely surely uh, that bhagwan bhagwat darshan i will get definitely in the form of nandan nandan krishna that braj gopigans that with unnat ujwal ras tadan rago by speaking that definitely the santras uh, smell is coming and uh, dasaras ratrak patrak is there rup goswami pada has just told this slok this actually speaking rup goswami this tadano ragi we are getting that in that particular ras and braj gopigans all those under their guidance that unnat ujwal ras is just this kind of vishay is there that it is under the guidance of those brajvasikas then only he can get tadanuragi if this kind of bhav is there inside me then only it is possible and with virha vidura that that samantak vanchak they, they are actually they have just met with bhagwan krishna they have already met with uh, bhagwan krishna where at samantak panchak they have met these braj gopikas actually have just discussed with bhagwan about their situation and at that time shri krishna with shri krishna after meeting with shri krishna they are actually speaking what they are speaking what actually it's written here this actually that uh, gopika is actually expressing their bhav this uh, actually has just told in front of them that lotus feet which is actually not at all there all the time they are actually thinking those yogis and munis all the time thinking inside their heart about that lotus feet that kind of lotus feet that they are actually worshipable by uh, worshipable by those all yogi munis and inside our heart this uh, actually sansar coop is actually getting inside uh, our heart and uh, all those fallen uh, jivas actually just fallen into this sansar material world this is the actual support for your lotus feet is your actual support for all those um, bonded jivas that apart from that without that we cannot go out of this material world by taking your by taking the shelter of your lotus feet that uh, what we are actually just into getting into this household life we are actually just sitting in this household life that uh, the topmost uh, happiness uh, for us is your lotus feet all those uh, material jivas bonded jivas that all those material bonded jiva this kind of achar is there inside them that uh, just to get out of this material bondage that's it we just want that this kind of vichar they have inside their heart that to just get out of this material bondage this is the actual vichar of this material bonded people that just to get out of this material bondage after getting out of this definitely definitely they will get that absolute bliss and uh, those who are actually 
those uh, those who are actually tyagi who have already left this uh, material things that externally that uh, all those material jivas they are speaking that uh, by this what they can do oh they are actually nothing they are not at all respecting him for them this kind of small vichar actually just by leaving them that parikya vichar that is the topmost un- unnat ujwal ras just by discussing the parikya bhav parikya ras that is the actual uh, manifestation of the uh, prajras that gopikas have shown otherwise nobody has shown that kind of parikya bhav that dhyan yogi those who are dhyan, dhyan yogi rishi muni it is not like that they are actually just like dhyan yogi these gopikas they are actually all the time they are actually don't want to serve krishna by far distant place like uh, the dhyan yogis they are actually just taking parmatma swarup inside their heart but uh, gopikas they don't have this kind of bhav inside their heart they all the time want to uh, just serve krishna not by dhyan yogi just by doing dhyan on krishna they actually want to serve they actually are not at all happy to serve krishna from a distant place they don't want to serve krishna from a distant place they don't want at all like that what the dhyan yogi are doing but they their actual dhyan is that is natural dhyan that is automatic dhyan yogis actually are just closing their eyes and then then they are actually doing bhajan so yogis actually are just closing their eyes and then doing bhajan and they are actually just concentrating on one thing but actually it's very strange that prajwasis that those who are prajwasis that nand baba yashoda baba etc sridam vasudam all and especially that gopikas Uh, it is actually written there that they are actually that is the topmost parakasta of bhagavad seva this actually this parikya vichar is there this parikya vichar this is the topmost vichar it is all already there in gopikas only apart from that it is not at all there in anyone so this kind of uh, dhyan yogi they don't want to actually do concentration on bhagwan the gopikas that kind of concentration is natural in them that kind of dhyan that kind of concentration is natural in gopikas it is not at all an artificial uh, concentration just like yogis they are not at all concentrating they are on that dhyay vastu on that parmatma vastu they are not at all having this kind of vichar the gopikas having they are by just opening their eyes they are actually taking darshan of krishna they are not at all like dhyan yogi who are just closing their eyes and doing concentration on bhagwan gopikas have that natural dhyan on to lotus feet of krishna they don't need to just close their eyes and just to concentrate on lotus feet of krishna that's why radhanani in chatanir chatamrit it is written that gopikas are just blaming krishna and finding fault in him and speaking that yogis that gopikas are not at all yogi that by dhyan and by concentration they will just be getting uh, blissfulness so by uddhav actually you just have uh, just want to teach us dhyan gopikas actually speaking that is by just remembering krishna i you just show me the pathway how i can forget krishna how to forget krishna just teach me that pathway so this is kind of a reverse negative vichar so but this kind of vichar is always there in gopikas so these all those dhyan yogis they actually gopikas don't want to serve uh, uh, krishna from a far distant place they always want to serve krishna with a very close that is they are ha- they what kind of dhyan the gopikas have that is natural dhyan that bhom braj that golok vrindavan that is already there in golok vrindavan up and uh, up uh, and that bhom braj that is uh, the earthly braj what is there we can find on this earth bhom vrindavan and then braj vrindavan which we can find that it is having five kind of different manifestation of five rasas are there it is combination of five rasas it is definitely there in golok vrindavan bom bom braj but it is there in um, very uh, natural form this is not like uh, this is sarvangin me automatically it's naturally there this kind of shant das sakya madhurya and all these kind of five combination of rasas are there naturally there this kind of rasa this is incomplete they are incomplete form in prajdham we can just taste that in complete form when we can just can uh, exchange the rasa with krishna because krishna having they have this complete five rasas in him 
all actually rasas are there in krishna in complete form vishvamba sakha it is not at all found in arjun but gaurav sakha this kind of bhav is shown in arjun but sometimes actually is asking uh, arjun actually is asking somehow actually i have done fault so he is actually asking uh, forgiveness from krishna so and uh, one uh, sakha actually is just uh, f- uh, forgiving uh, the another friend so you just also forgive me as well i don't want anything else you just forgive me that's it and uh, when at the time of uh, taking sleeping and eating w- lot of aparad i have done on to a lotus feet at the time of taking prasadam and at uh, taking a uh, walking and while doing enjoying with you i am actually all the time with you but arjun speaking this thing but i have done a lot of uh, a um, lot of uh, things i have done but now i actually am thinking i have done aparad on to a lotus feet like walking sleeping eating every uh, thing every process what i have done with you i have just uh, making fun of you also i am enjoying with you you just please forgive me about this but shridam sudam basudam they are actually not at all speaking that we have done fault oh you just forgive me they are speaking madhu mangal they will not speak like this their friendship is different from arjun they are actually having that ashwarya bhav their ashwarya bhav is not at all there inside their heart not at all in vrindavan whatever you can do all the efforts in brahad bhagavata amrit also i have just told this point that you just show me the fact of ashwarya it is not at all but they will not at all understand oh they will not at all understand ashwarya bhav so actually prabhupada actually speaking like this that vishwam basakya actually it is here shri dam sudam basudam and uh, gopikas this kind of antarang seva that is topmost antarang continuous spontaneous bhav uh, that gopikas have uh, towards krishna that is uh, with uh, incomplete form it cannot be found anywhere in vaikunth also it is not at all there it is only possible to be found in golok vrindavan in complete form that is in bhom vrindavan and the second shlok actually prabhupad actually speaking here actually prabhupada speaking that shrimati radhanani that i am actually palya dasi this kind of vichar that is very different other vichar actually they are actually different but this kind of vichar that i am actually palya dasi that i am actually identifying myself that uh, i am just a maid servant of shrimati radhanani this kind of vichar this kind of vichar having in my mind i am uh, actually all the time in this kund uh, just living there all the time this kind of natural like workeshwar das babaji am externally whether he is staying anywhere else in any place externally whether he is place staying in nandgram also but at the same time he can stay in other place baba ji maharaj he is in the navadweep in ranichora there is a very uh, small place he was actually living there baba ji maharaj and in a very small place he used to live there but still but prabhupa ji some sahaji has questioned and just by disrespecting his gurudev i think in order to disrespect prabhupad he has just uh, questioned uh, willingly uh, knowingly he has just put a question in order to disrespect his gurudev where actually your gurudev is actually where is the temple of your gurudev where your gurudev is staying huh? where is your gurudev staying he is asking to prabhupad this foolish sahajiya in order to disrespect prabhupad prabhupad actually very cleverly and smartly answering this question that actually he is speaking that where actually where actually your gurudev uh, actually where is your shri part of gurudev where actually is your temple of gurudev you just tell me where actually your gurudev is staying prabhupad actually speaking actually you see my gurudev actually my gurudev actually that the actual nitya uh, sitting place where my with full smartness and cleverness prabhupad speaking because he knows he is a fraudster that's why you just need to answer him like this only prabhupad speaking actually you see my gurudev actually is uh, that nitya swarup nitya uh, place where actually my gurudev all the time speak that is the lotus feet of shrimati radhanani 
that is radha kund my gurudev that is the actual place where my gurudev all the time is staying that is at the lotus feet of radha and at shri radha kund and externally you can see that uh, he is actually there in uh, navadweep saying here and there so like this proper speaking all those sahajiyas actually just got shut up and they are actually thinking all those sahajiyas they have hang this kind of vichar they have this kind of vichar that uh, this with with this material bhavana with this they, they can just stay in radha kund they have this kind of vichar that these sahajiyas they are having this kind of vichar that with this dirty mood this like stool and urine this sack of body is made of stool and urine this sack of body you will be just be staying in vrindavan it is not at all possible they are actually thinking that it is possible they actually don't know that actually of radha kund that in the dream also they can't have even uh, stay in radha kund even dream also they can't even stay in radha kund for a fraction of second they don't have this kind of place for radha this place of radha kund is not for them both for those sahajiyas but externally they are actually staying in radha kund they are actually thinking that they are in radha kund this blood this stool and urine body this this stool and urine of this body they are actually taking staying in radha kund it is not at all possible prabhupada actually just answering this question my gurudev my gurudev nitya Uh, sitting place is the lotus feet of radha rani that is radha kund externally he is actually can stay anywhere whether at the bank of river ganga or at the here there at the at the bank of river ganga baba ji mara used to say wherever he is staying but his nitya uh, sitting place is the lotus feet of radha kund with this material body you cannot stay in vrindavan at all they are actually thinking this kind of vichar that by doing vyabhichar and doing all the wrong activities they are doing and all kind of material conception they have by this kind of dharana they can just stay in vrindavan this kind of thinking they have but it is not at all possible at all this is impossible to stay like that in vrindavan all the time uh, under the guidance of shrimati radharani that to just getting the maid servant of that uh, shrimati radharani palyadasi i am the maid servant of shrimati radharani like a dog i am just like she is my mistress i am just her servant at the shri shri kund at radha kund at the bank of radha kund a very small corner of radha kund just to stay there that is the, the top most thing and prabhupad with a very humble mood always used to speak this point prabhupad always used to with a humble mood used to speak that uh, we don't have any kind of uh, eligibility to stay in radha kund that is a very top most place i can't even we don't have the eligibility our gaur kishor das babu ji gurudev or uh, bhakti vinod thakur actually they are actually have this kind of eligibility to stay there in radha kund but i can't stay there in radha kund we don't have this kind of adhikar prabhupad always used to speak this prabhupad always used to speak this point that we don't have this kind of adhikar to stay in radha kund so okay you know if giriraj maharaj can do some kripa at the lotus feet of giriraj maharaj if he can do some kripa and have can give some place so that we can stay there i can definitely be full of treasure if he will do keep on me then i will be full of blissfulness and happiness if govardhan ji maharaj actually is taking shelter onto his lotus feet then it will be very good for me this he govardhan ragunath das ko swami this is the actual player prayer of ragunath das ko swami to govardhan ji maharaj this is the actual prayer to and on the lotus feet of giriraj maharaj that ho prabhu he giriraj maharaj Raghunath Das Ko Swami Pad also actually is speaking this kind of prayer in front of us in the form of prayer. He is actually praying in front of Giriraj Maharaj with the very humble and praying mood. He is speaking to Giriraj Maharaj like this, so you can see. So Radha Rani, that I am the actually maid servant of Radha Rani. I am actually the servant of Radha Rani. This kind of vichar I am actually. St- at the corner of radha kund actually i have, have don't have this kind of adhikar to stay there and that narayan swami that vishnu swami means that bhagwan narayan and means krishna 
they if we are actually getting this kind of a child we don't have any kind of father they don't have any mother and nothing they have actually it is already written there that they are nitya this narayan is nitya but still bhagwan actually is actually from infinity time he is there bhagwan is actually uh, don't have any kind of prasang of his birth that when bhagwan has taken birth there is no kind of question arising that but still bhagwan is actually the adi karan he is the karan of all the karan he is the cause of all the causes but still bhagwan actually still by his own wish this kind of birth leela is doing in front of us and he is just manifesting this birth leela in front of us why so that in order to give happiness to his devotees Just in order to give eternal blissfulness and happiness to all the devotees, so the avirbhav of Bhagwan we can just see externally, but still Bhagwan is actually is uh, there from infinity time. That we can, uh, Bhagwan birth is not at all possible, but still it is possible. This is the actual leela. It is just like a human being. Bhagwan is just doing uh, this leela. that all kind of nourishment bhagwan is taking just like a small boy this is the actual anand that is called leela bhagwan actually speaking that only for the happiness of my devotees i am just doing this kind of leela just in order to get uh, given unto my devotees that i am doing this kind of leela prabhupad actually speaking that where देयर परात पर अखिलेश्वर नंदन नंदन श्री कृष्ण इज देयर स्वयं एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट एंड हैविंग दैट काइंड ऑफ बर्थ लीला देर इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल बट स्टिल द भगवान एक्चुअली दिस काइंड ऑफ बर्थ लीला ही इज एक्चुअली वी कैन सी दैट इन मथुरा इन गोकुल वी कैन जस्ट फाइंड दैट दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस इज कॉल्ड लीला दैट्स वाई देर इज सो मच स्वीटनेस इन कृष्ण लीला एंड ब्रह्म बर्थ ऑफ ब्रह्म that bhagwan shri krishna janm that he has taken birth that is why it is called braj why it is called braj that our navadvip dham is also braj but people don't know about it our navadvip dham is also braj where actually we are staying by the kripa of guru vishnu bhagwan at very small place i am getting this is also vrindavan this actually shankar bhagwan actually speaking to parvati devi about this parvati uh, shankar bhagwan actually speaking to parvati devi about this uh, topmost place about navadvip dham shankar bhagwan also actually speaking to parvati dekho oh devi that actually are actually seeing that radha govind what you are seeing that is definitely gaur hari they are actually milit vigra combination of radha and govind and which vrindavan dham actually you are seeing that is called navadvip this is non different so this navadvip dham this is definitely vrindavan dham only and this kind of bridge this word actually means what do you mean by this word braj braj means that bra plus j braj this word actually braj means bra plus j bra matlab brahm and j j means taking birth it means that the place where actually brahm is taking uh, this kind of le- birth leela is doing that is called braj so here actually mahaprabhu also doing this so that's why it is braj brahm that is the birth leela place of brahm that is called braj dham so prabhupada actually speaking that uh, at that the corner of radha kund we don't have any kind of adhikar to stay in radha kund don't no one has any kind this kind of adhikar to stay in radha kund and uh, that i am actually just a maid servant of radha rani uh, that all the time i just want to get that kind of seva service in radha kund under the guidance of my master sri radha rani this kind of bhav should be there all the time narayan vishnu they don't have any kind of birth leela they have that bhagwan also is aj that i have already told you this kind of vichar and bhagwan may be aj prabhupada actually speaking that bhagwan is aj aj means all he, he has no birth at all but still this this kind of leela birth leela actually bhagwan is just uh, giving uh, under the guidance of devaki and vasudev in the kans jail in the jail of kans he is actually just by taking the ashray of devaki and vasudev uh, that topmost brahm 
बट सचिदानंद भगवान एक्चुअली वी कैन जस्ट सी द बर्थ लीला ऑफ भगवान मे बी हिज बर्थ इज नॉट देयर एट ऑल बट स्टिल वी कैन सी दैट बर्थ लीला इन मथुरा दैट इज वाई इट इज अज जस्ट बाई हिज ओन डिजायर एक्चुअली इज जस्ट मेकिंग दिस बर्थ लीला एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज मोर एंड मोर टॉप मोस्ट एंड वैकुंठ दैट वी कैनॉट कंपेयर मथुरा विद वैकुंठ वाई बिकॉज मथुरा इज मथुरा यू कॉन्ट कंपेयर इट विद वैकुंठ वैकुंठ इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी टॉप मोस्ट प्लेस बट स्टिल यू कैनॉट कम रूप को स्वामी पाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट वैकुंठ यू कैनॉट कंपेयर इट विद मथुरा देर इज नो कंपेरिजन एट ऑल दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट प्लेस मधुपुरी दैट इज मथुरा इज द टॉप मोस्ट प्लेस एंड दैट वैकुंठ इन वैकुंठ दैट अज भगवान इज देयर विष्णु देयर एक्चुअली नो लीला इज नॉट लीला इज नॉट एट ऑल दैट मच दैट बर्थ लीला इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर वेयर भगवान विल टेक बर्थ देयर इज एक्चुअली नो प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ देयर इन वैकुंठ बट इन मथुरा दैट अज टॉप मोस्ट भगवान इज जस्ट बाई हिज ओन विल कमिंग दैट बाई हिज टॉप मोस्ट इन्फिनिटी प्रभाव बाई हिज इफेक्ट ही इज जस्ट मैनिफेस्टिंग हिज बर्थ लीला एंड जस्ट टू गेट द टॉप मोस्ट गिव टॉप मोस्ट अन टू द डिवोटिज that all my devotees so that they can just feel eternal bliss inside their heart that's why i'm just doing this birth leela so that's why in geeta bhagwan also speaking that here actually bhagwan speaking that my birth karma leela all like it is not at all material it is divya it is transcendental on transcendental platform if you can just get this uh, realization in this birth only then he is getting out of this material cycle of birth and death that person then definitely that person that jiva will not at all take birth because uh, by the realization only it is possible and by the kripa of bhagwan this kind of realization of uh, by having this he will be doing bhajan and after that he'll be going to bhagwan so that is the gradual promotional procedure what is shown here so so that is the top most place mathura is top most then vaikunth also that the devotees having their pure mind and heart this kind of mathura this mathura that is the top most place mathura in mathura mahatma there is one book mathura mathura mahatma there is one book in that it is written about goswami all the goswami has written that book in mathura mahatma everything is written there in puran and everything it is they have just collected everything and have just made one book of mathura mahatma top most mathura and a lot of things are there gurudev also have just taken the glorification of mathura mahatma in the form of book and the sadaks all those devotees that topmost pure devotees the topmost pure devotees inside their pure heart they have kind this kind of birth leela of krishna in each and every proper speaking in each and every uh, sadak devotee today is actually janmashtami tithi inside e inside this kind of uh, bhagwan should get uh, avirbhav inside our heart bhagwan should that mathura is actually gyan bhumika lot of uh, in depth discussion is there barupa speaking actually mathura is gyan bhumika that is a top most place of knowledge and uh, mathur by that mathura top most knowledge place we just need to take krishna we have to take krishna from that top most knowledge place of knowledge vasudev ji has taken and just uh, given it to gokul so this is actually the prem bhumi land of prem that gokul is land of prem so from the place of knowledge the bhagwan is actually coming to the land of prema gokul so all the devotees this heart this shuddha sattva we just need to make sure that bhagwan is coming inside our heart with full prema that is possible with full prema only and our heart will just get that top most eternal blissfulness inside our heart by shuddha sattva it will get that top most eternal blissfulness and inside our shuddha pure heart this kind of avirbhav of bhagwan should be there all the time the sadak the, the devotees they are having that pure heart they are actually just getting uh, krishna chandra inside their heart all the time each and every time the birth of krishna chandra is getting inside their heart and their heart when actually just getting that kind of top most uh, 
a magic we can see inside our heart and we are our heart is just getting into shuddh sattva then definitely krishna will get manifest inside our heart and this kind of pure heart it is actually compared with mathura this vishuddh heart of her heart is actually compared with mathura that mathura is a place of uh, topmost place of knowledge lot of people actually proper speaking they are actually thinking that mathura is just a uh, one kind of just like a joking they are actually saying oh it's actually actually nothing it is actually just uh, artificial they uh, nothing is there some lot of people they are actually thinking they are actually thinking mathura is artificial and one la kind of idealism they are actually thinking that uh, there is one religious standard but it is not like that propa speaking propa speaking it's not like that it's not like that भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट अचिंत शक्ति अचिंत पावर ऑफ भगवान शक्ति इट इज भगवान श्री कृष्ण इट इज पॉसिबल इफ एक्चुअली दैट द बर्थ ऑफ कृष्णा एंड मथुरा एंड इज वी जस्ट थिंकिंग इट इज जस्ट अ चोक एंड वी आर जस्ट गिविंग दिस जस्ट अ रेगुलर रिलीजियस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और इंस्टीट्यूशन देन दैट वी आर जस्ट एक्चुअली नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग द अचिंत शक्ति ऑफ भगवान we are not at all accepting the achinta shakti of bhagwan and we are this kind of aparad we are actually doing on the lotus feet of krishna this is the actually the achinta shakti swarup of bhagwan we are actually disrespecting the achinta shakti of bhagwan that is not at all good this kind of thing is not at all good that is like this only mathura is just a spiritual standard mathura is actually a roopak it is actually artificial just a joking you can just see mathura mahatma from the infinity shastra mathura mahatma has just got compiled by taking lot of proofs from the shastras lot very good mathura mahatma you can just go through that there actually in about mathura you can just get to know about everything in about mathura just by disrespecting mathura you are actually that achinta shakti of bhagwan you are actually disrespecting that you just be sure about that that can, then definitely will do aparad in that that achinta shakti of bhagwan by that only that in bhom jagat in this uh, earth um, that mathura is actually coming with krishna on this material world that mathura vrindavan you can see that mathura mandal in vrindavan it is already there in this mathura mathura mandal actually bhagwan shri krishna that is actually the uh, of before bhagwan krishna coming uh, getting avatar into this material world that uh, mathura is just getting manifested here on this earth that by the achinta shakti of bhagwan shri krishna we can see that from on this earthly material world that from golok vrindavan this mathura actually has just descended onto this material planet and uh, bhagwan shri krishna's birthplace is mathura that the birthplace of uh, bhagwan shri krishna is mathura and those jo that madhupuri actually of vaikunth is the topmost that is more topmost than uh, vaikunth that madhupuri and after that it is written that uh, that the birthplace of uh, krishna mathura uh, apart from that more topmost place is that rasastali of krishna which is there in vrindavan what to speak of that oh that is topmost that is the topmost place that is the topmost rasamay place rasastali means topmost rasamay place this is a comparative statement here which we are following this is just by the bhav of prema full of prema the rup goswami pad actually just expressing his at uh, the lotus feet of radharani she he is actually just showing us the glorification of the lotus feet of radharani where actually the jeevas actually stay can get the topmost benefit of their life so propad actually now actually speaking that uh, krishna achintya shakti by that only Uh, that uh, in this material planet by with krishna mathura puri has just uh, manifested uh, uh, himself here and apart from this more topmost place is that the bhagwan krishna's rasastali uh, is the topmost which is there in vrindavan that uh, shri rasas What it's written there? Rasa 
So like this actually, this comparative statement actually has been spoken. Yet to, so tomorrow we will be definitely discussing about Prabhupada, what Prabhupada has told. So this kind of vishya we will be discussing it tomorrow. And what actually the actually the Upadesh, what Prabhupada has just told us, definitely I will be just uh, uh, telling you to tomorrow and we just uh, giving rest today. Athapite Deva Padaham Bujatayu Prashad Leshanukrihit Evahi Janati Tatyam Bhagavan Mahimno Nacha Anyo Ekayopi Chiram Bichinavano Vancha Kalpudru Sikipasindu Vacha Patitanan Pavanapu Vishnapu